Scriptures for those who are struggling with pornography. Matthew 5, 28. But I say to you that everyone who looks at a woman with lustful intent has already committed adultery with her in his heart. 1 Corinthians 6, 18 through 20. Flee from sexual immorality. Every other sin a person commits is outside the body, but the sexually immoral person sins against his own body. Or do you not know that your body is a temple of the Holy Spirit within you, whom you have from God? You are not your own, for you are bought with a price. So glorify God in your body. Psalm 119, 37. Turn my eyes from looking at worthless things and give me life in your ways. 1 Corinthians 10, 13. No temptation has overtaken you that is not common to man. God is faithful, and he will not let you be tempted beyond your ability. But with the temptations, he will also provide the way of escape that you may be able to endure. 1 John 3, 4 through 10. Everyone who makes a practice of sinning also practices lawlessness. Sin is lawlessness. You know that he appeared in order to take away sins, and in him there is no sin. No one who abides in him keeps on sinning. No one who keeps on sinning has either seen him or known him. Little children, let no one deceive you. Whoever practices righteousness is righteous as he is righteous. Whoever makes a practice of sinning is of the devil, for the devil has been sinning from the beginning. The reason the Son of God appeared was to destroy the works of the devil. No one born of God makes a practice of sinning, for God's seed abides in him, and he cannot keep on sinning because he has been born of God. By this it is evident who are the children of God and who are the children of the devil. Whoever does not practice righteousness is not of God, nor is the one who does not love his brother. Galatians 5, 19 through 25. Now the works of the flesh are evident, sexual immorality, impurity, sensuality, idolatry, sorcery, enmity, strife, jealousy, fits of anger, rivalries, dissensions, divisions, envy, drunkenness, orgies, and things like these. I warn you, as I've warned you before, that those who do these things will not inherit the kingdom of God. But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, self-control. Against such things there is no law. And those who belong to Christ Jesus have crucified the flesh with its own passions and desires. If we live by the Spirit, let us also keep in step with the Spirit. 1 John 2:16. For all that is in the world, the desires of the flesh and the desires of the eyes and pride and possessions is not from the Father, but is of the world. Hebrews 13, 4. Let marriage be held in honor among all, and let the marriage bed be undefiled, for God will judge the sexually immoral and adulterous. Philippians 4, 8. Finally, brothers, whatever is true, whatever is honorable, whatever is just, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is commendable, if there is any excellence, if there is anything worthy of praise, think about these things. Ephesians 6, 11 through 17. Put on the whole armor of God that you may be able to stand against the schemes of the devil. For we do not wrestle against flesh and blood, but against the rulers, against the authorities, against the cosmic powers over this present darkness, against the spiritual forces of evil in the heavenly places. Therefore, take up the whole armor of God, that you may be able to withstand in the evil day, and having done all, to stand firm. Stand therefore, having fastened on the belt of truth, and having put on the breastplate of righteousness, and, as shoes for your feet, having put on the readiness given by the gospel of peace. In all circumstances, take up the shield of faith, with which you can extinguish all the flaming darts of the evil one, and take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the Spirit, which is the word of God. Psalm 119, 9 through 10. How can a young man keep his way pure? By guarding it according to your word. With my whole heart I seek you. Let me not wander from your commandments. Proverbs 7, 21 through 27. With much seductive speech she persuades him. With her smooth talk she compels him. All at once he follows her as an ox goes to the slaughter, or as a stag is caught fast. Till an arrow pierces its liver, as a bird rushes into a snare, he does not know that it will cost him his life. 
And now, O sons, listen to me and be attentive to the words of my mouth. Let not your heart turn aside to her ways. Do not stray into her paths. For many a victim has she laid low, and all her slain are a mighty throng. Her house is the way to Sheol, going down to the chambers of death. 1 Corinthians 6, 18. Flee from sexual immorality. Every other sin a person commits is outside the body, but the sexually immoral person sins against his own body. Galatians 5, 19. Now the works of the flesh are evident, sexual immorality, impurity, and sensuality. Job 31, 1. I have made a covenant with my eyes. How then could I gaze at a virgin? Matthew 6, 22 through 23. The eye is a lamp of the body. So if your eye is healthy, your whole body will be full of light. But if your eye is bad, your whole body will be full of darkness. If then the light in you is darkness, how great is the darkness? 1 Corinthians 6, 13. Food is meant for the stomach and the stomach for food and God will destroy both one and the other. The body is not meant for sexual immorality, but for the Lord and the Lord for the body. 1 Thessalonians 4, 3 through 6. For this is the will of God, your sanctification, that you abstain from sexual immorality, that each one of you know how to control his own body in holiness and honor, not in the passion of lust like the Gentiles who do not know God, that no one transgress and wrong his brother in his matter, because the Lord is an avenger in all these things, as we told you beforehand and solemnly warned you. Proverbs 6.25 Do not desire her beauty in your heart, and do not let her capture you with her eyelashes. James 1.14-15 But each person is tempted when he is lured and enticed by his own desire. Then desire, when it is conceived, gives birth to sin, and sin, when it is fully grown, brings forth death. Psalm 101, 3. I will not set before my eyes anything that is worthless. I hate the work of those who fall away. It shall not cling to me. James 4, 6 through 11. But he gives more grace. Therefore, it says, God opposes the proud, but gives grace to the humble. Submit yourselves, therefore, to God. Resist the devil, and he will flee from you. Draw near to God, and he will draw near to you. Cleanse your hands, you sinners, and purify your hearts, you double-minded. Be wretched and mourn and weep. Let your laughter be turned to mourning and your joy to gloom. Humble yourselves before the Lord, and he will exalt you. Ephesians 5, 11 through 12. Take no part in the unfruitful works of darkness, but instead expose them. For it is shameful even to speak of the things that they do in secret. 1 Peter 2.11 Beloved, I urge you as sojourners and exiles to abstain from the passions of the flesh, which wage war against your soul. Romans 13.13 13. Let us walk properly as in the daytime, not in orgies and drunkenness, not in sexual immorality and sensuality, not in quarreling and jealousy. Ephesians 4.30 and do not grieve the Holy Spirit of God, by whom you were sealed for the day of redemption. Psalm 18, 16 through 24. He sent from on high, he took me, he drew me out of many waters. He rescued me from my strong enemy and from those who hated me, for they were too mighty for me. They confronted me in the day of my calamity, but the Lord was my support. He brought me out into a broad place. He rescued me because he delighted with me. 1 John 2, 3 through 6. And by this we know him, that we have come to know him, if we keep his commandments. Whoever says, I know him, but does not keep his commandments, is a liar, and the truth is not in him. But whoever keeps his word, in him truly the love of God is perfected. By this we may know that we are in him. Whoever says he abides in him ought to walk in the same way in which he walked. John 8, 31. So Jesus said to the Jews who had believed in him, If you abide in my word, you are truly my disciples. 1 John 5, 3 For this is the love of God that we keep his commandments, and his commandments are not burdensome. Romans 13, 13 through 14 Let us walk properly as in the daytime, not in orgies and drunkenness, not in sexual immorality and sensuality, not in quarreling and jealousy but put on the Lord Jesus Christ and make no provision for the flesh to gratify its desires. 
Ephesians 2, 3. Among whom we all once lived in the passions of our flesh, carrying out the desires of the body and the mind, and were by nature children of wrath like the rest of mankind. Romans 12, 2. Do not be conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind, that by testing you may discern what is the will of God, what is good and acceptable and perfect. 1 John 3, 24. Whoever keeps his commandments abides in God, and God in him. And by this we know that he abides in us, by the Spirit whom he has given us. 2 Corinthians 10, 4 through 6. For the weapons of our warfare are not of the flesh, but have divine power to destroy strongholds. We destroy arguments and every lofty opinion raised against the knowledge of God, and take every thought captive to obey Christ being ready to punish every disobedience when your obedience is complete. Hebrews 12, 1. Therefore, since we are surrounded by so great a cloud of witnesses, let us also lay aside every weight and sin which clings so closely, and let us run with endurance the race that is set before us. 2 Timothy 2, 22. So flee youthful passions and pursue righteousness, faith, love, and peace along with those who call on the Lord from a pure heart. Ecclesiastes 12:13. The end of the matter, all has been heard. Fear God and keep his commandments, for this is the whole duty of man. Galatians 6, 7 through 8. Do not be deceived. God is not mocked. For whatever one sows, that he will also reap. For the one who sows to his own flesh will from the flesh reap corruption but the one who sows to the Spirit will from the Spirit reap eternal life. Proverbs 4, 14. Do not enter the path of the wicked and do not walk in the way of the devil. Romans 8, 1 on. There is therefore now no condemnation for those who are in Christ Jesus. For the law of the Spirit of life has set you free in Christ Jesus from the law of sin and death. For God has done what the law weakened by the flesh could not do, by sending his own son in the likeness of sinful flesh and for sin, he condemned sin in the flesh in order that the righteous requirement of the law might be fulfilled in us, who walk not according to the flesh, but according to the spirit. For those who live according to the flesh set their mind on the things of the flesh, but those who live according to the spirit set their minds on the things of the spirit. Romans 6, 11 through 14. So you also must consider yourselves dead to sin and alive to God in Christ Jesus. Let not sin therefore reign in your mortal body to make you obey its passions. Do not present your members to sin as instruments for unrighteousness, but present yourselves to God as those who have been brought from death to life and your members to God as instruments for righteousness. For sin will have no dominion over you since you are not under law but under grace. Psalm 24, 3 through 4. Who shall ascend the hill of the Lord, and who shall stand in his holy place? He who has clean hands and a pure heart, who does not lift up his soul to what is false and does not swear deceitfully. Matthew 26, 41. Watch and pray that you may not enter into temptation. The spirit indeed is willing, but the flesh is weak. John 3, 16. For God so loved the world that he gave his only bite. John 3, 16. For God so loved the world that he gave his own...